Characteristics of quadratic function. State the vertex, axis of symmetry, direction of opening, y-intercept, domain and range of the given function. So we are given two functions here and both of them are in vertex form in some way. This one is y equals to 5 minus 2x square. The other one is y equals to 2 times x minus 3 whole square minus 1. Now let us see how to write all the characteristics from the given equation. Now these are vertex form and so it is very simple to write vertex from the given equation. Now here the vertex is, let me start from this place, this becomes obvious then. Here the vertex is 3 and minus 1. So vertex coordinates are 3 and minus 1. In this particular case x minus 0, treat it like x minus 0. There is no horizontal transformation. So the vertex here is 0 for x value and 5 for the y values. That is the vertex for our equation. And now let's find axis of symmetry. So axis of symmetry is actually through the vertex only, right? So axis of symmetry is at x e equals to this value. So that is axis of symmetry. x equals to 0 in this case and x equals to 3 in our second equation. Now let's find direction of opening. Direction of opening is from the leading coefficient. Have a good look and tell me the direction of opening. Now in this case the leading coefficient is minus 2, not 5. So sometimes students do get confused. Minus 2 and minus 2 means it opens downwards. So direction of opening is downwards. In this case here it is plus 2. It opens upwards, right? This is up. Y intercepts. To find y-intercept, we'll place x as 0, okay? So we have y-intercept, x equals to 0, y equals to minus 0 from 5, which gives you the value 5 itself. Here, if you put x equals to 0, what do you get? You get 2 times minus 3 square minus 1. And minus 3 square is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 minus 1 is 17. So y-intercept for our second equation is 17, domain and range. Domain for all parabolic functions or quadratic functions is x belongs to real numbers. There are no restrictions on this function. As far as the range is concerned, range really depends on the direction of opening and the vertex. Now this parabola opens downwards, so y belongs to real numbers but y is less than equal to the maximum value. What is the maximum value? Maximum value in this case is 5. In the second case, y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to since it opens upwards the minimum value. And minimum value for this function is, let's look at the vertex, 3 minus 1. That is the minimum value, minus 1. So that is how you get all these characteristics for the function. So as an added exercise, I would like you to find the maximum and minimum value of the function, whichever is applicable, and sketch a graph. Correct? So do this exercise on your own. After you sketch a graph, even before that, you can calculate x-intercepts. So as an exercise, try to write down what is maximum or minimum value for these functions, sketch a graph and find x-intercepts for these functions. Thank you and all the best.